The next Spotlight Terror event featuring Sylveon and Garchomp has been announced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the best builds that you can take into this event and beat these Pokemon. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. In our last video on the channel, we covered all of the details for the upcoming next Spotlight Terror event, and that will be featuring Sylveon and Garchomp. The event itself will be running from the 17th of February and over that coming weekend. And as soon as that event goes live, we'll cover all of the details here on the channel. But as these are Pokemon that are already existing in our games, we can kind of get a good basis of what these Pokemon will bring to battles when we go up against them in this Terror Raid event. Now the first one we're going to look at is Garchomp. Garchomp is a ground and dragon type Pokemon but predominantly in this Terror Raid its signature Terror type is going to be ground. It will have the ability to have a random Terror type as well so you're going to be able to go up against a Garchomp with an array of different Terror types. But regardless of the Terror types that the Garchomp will use the moves that it will have will always be locked in. Now the five star Terror Raid Garchomp Chomp that we're going up against will be level 75. It will have a maximum speed of 250 and it can have its normal ability which would be Sand Veil or its hidden ability Rough Skin. Now the move options if we refer over to the current 5 star raid Garchomp that we've got in the games it does have access to a bunch of moves. It doesn't have access to any set of moves. Now this is always a good reference for us to go into these terror raid events in and build against but we can't take this as verbatim. There might be differences in the the actual Spotlight Terror Raid event. Now the move options that Garchomp will have are going to be Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Iron Head and Slash and additional moves that normally carries in those 5 star raids is Sandstorm to set up the weather and boost its evasiveness if it does have that Sand Veil ability. And the other additional move is Bulldoze which will just lower the speed of everything on our side of the field if it does use it. So like I say no setup there, Garchomp is renowned for knowing Swords Dance though so that is something that we have to keep in mind that potentially Garchomp could could have going into these raid events. Next up we'll look at Sylveon which is going to be the other Pokemon featured in this spotlight event. Sylveon going to be a pure fairy type Pokemon. Again it's going to be level 75 and it probably will have its hidden ability for the most part which is pixelate turning all normal type attacks into fairy type attacks. Its signature terror type in this raid event is going to be fairy but again like the Garchomp it can have a random terror typing attached to it. Its maximum speed that it will hit at level 75 is 181. Now it's move options and we have to base this off the six star terror raid. There is no five star terror raid for Sylveon in our base games only six star terror raids. So again there may be varying results and of course the six star terror raids are normally a lot stronger than a five star terror raid so whether there is setup going into this five star terror raid event with Sylveon is very questionable. The move options that Sylveon does have is Terror Blast. Hyper Voice is going to be a very strong normal type attack with that pixelate ability going to turn into another strong fairy type move and then Moon Blast is going to be its more common fairy type option. Yawn is an option for disruption that will put you to sleep. It is a two turn move Additional moves that Sylveon does have is Misty Terrain. If it does carry that, then you're not going to have to worry so much about the Yawns. And then Calm Mind as its option to boost its stats. And as you can see, I have based this off the current 6-star Terror Raid that we do have access to in our game. So these are the two Pokemon potentially that we'll be going up against. And the options that we're looking at that they'll be using. And the moves that we're going to have to kind of keep in mind when we're building Pokemon for these. Over into game, I'm going to start off with two Pokemon I think are going to be really good to take in against both Garchomp and Sylveon and then we'll approach some other options that are good for just going in against Garchomp and then going in against Sylveon. So the first Pokemon and I think a really fun one that we can use is on the thumbnail of this video of course is Orthworm. Orthworm is a pure steel type. It has the Terra type of steel as well. We've given it the item Shell Bell and the reason that we're bringing it against both of these Pokemon is obviously the steel type and resists all of the fairy type attacks that Sylveon can throw out at us and we can hit it for super effective damage and the other thing is the earth eater ability that Earthworm has so if Earthworm is hit by a ground type move the pokemon has its hp restored instead of taking any damage which is huge so against garchomp in particular they uses those attacks like earthquake like bulldoze 
it can't really use them against us otherwise it will be healing us so it means it gives us a pure immunity to ground type attacks and because of the steel typing we resist the dragon type attacks that Garchomp can throw out at us meaning that we're going to have a pretty easy time against us. Now the moveset I've went for is Sleep Talk, Coil, Earthquake and Iron Head. Now the reason we've gone for Sleep Talk primarily it is a filler. The problem with Earthworm is it doesn't have a very deep move pool so the options that we've got are pretty limited. Sleep Talk seemed like a nice option for us to get around the Yawn against Sylveon specifically. So if it does put us to sleep, we can click the Sleep Talk button and then potentially get some damage out on the field. Now the EV spread that we've got on Altworm is just pretty straightforward. 252 HP and then 252 attack with the rest put in special defense. We've went for an adamant nature as well. We have maxed it out to level 100 and bottle capped it, hyper trained it. So all of its IVs are 31 and that'll go for the same with all of the other Pokemon that will feed in today's video. Now I've mentioned already a bit of the move set. We've got the Sleep Talk to give us a way around the Yawn from the Sylveon. We've got Coil as a way to boost up our attack and make sure that our accuracy is good, especially if the Garchomp's got that Sand Veil ability and the Sandstorm up, makes it easier for us to hit it. Earthquake is just a coverage move and Iron Head is gonna be our main attacking move. It's gonna hit the Sylveon for super effective damage and it's gonna do good damage to the Garchomp as well, seeing that the Garchomp can't really hit us for very good damage damage in return. We have given it the Shell Bell item because otherwise we don't really have a good form of recovery. So once we have got a few coils up, we're gonna be able to start doing damage and recovering health that way. So this is the Orthworm. I feel like it's gonna be a phenomenal Pokemon to build going into this event and gives you nice options against both of these Pokemon. Obviously, if they have certain Terra types, it is gonna be difficult, especially if the Sylveon has Terra Blast. Uh, you're gonna have to watch out for the Fire Terra type Sylveon, which can, if it has Terra Blast, hit you for super effective damage but other than that Orthworm is going to be an incredible option. Now the next Pokemon that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be Corviknight. Again another Pokemon that you're going to be able to bring against both the Sylveon and the Garchomp. Flying Steel type with the Terra type Steel. We've got the leftovers item and it has an adamant nature with those 252 HP, 252 attacking AVs. Again, just the rest put in special defense gives you a little bit more stability against the Sylveon um, with the mirror armor ability. Now the moveset that we've went for on the Corviknight is Bulk Up, Screech, Taunt and Iron Head. Taunt is there to shut down the Sylveon from being able to either IE set up the Calm Mind or put Yawns onto your side of the field to put you to sleep so you can prevent that. And also if the Garchomp does for any reason reason have sword stance it's a way for you to be able to stop its sword stance and boosting its attack up before it gets too out of control now bulk up is going to give you an attack boost and defense boost every time you use it so you can use that to increase your damage output and screech also lowers the defense on the target pokemon by two stages meaning that your attacks are going to do even more damage and then you're basically relying on the iron head now you might think because we've got the steel terror typing on here that mm, it's probably not the best idea to go for against the garchomp because because as soon as you do terrestrialize, you're gonna be prone to getting hit by those earthquakes. Now, you should be all right in these situations because you have hopefully already bulked up at this point before you terrestrialize. But I think just make sure that you do terrestrialize when you're in a nice position where you're not gonna get your stats removed or reset or whatever nullified, and then you can terrestrialize and then go for those iron heads and do some good damage to the Garchomp. But the flying type initially does give you the immunity to any ground type attacks from the Garchomp. And also you resist the dragon type attacks because of that steel typing and anything that Sylveon's gonna throw out at you, you're not really too worried about because of the steel typing that you do have on the Corviknight. And the leftovers is a nice option as an item here just to give you a little bit of recovery. Next up, we're gonna look at options specifically just for Sylveon. If you wanna go in against Sylveon, I think these two options here are really nice options to take in against the Goldingo. Obviously a steel ghost typing gonna be a great option against Sylveon. And we have give it the metal coat option has got a modest nature with 252 HP, 252 special attack EVs and the rest put in defense. Uh, probably not the best Pokemon to bring against Garchomp in particular, but for the Sylveon, it's gonna be a great Pokemon to bring. Good as gold as that ability, gives you immunity to yawn. And then we have a combination of recover for getting your health back, Metal Sound to lower the special defense on the Sylveon, and then combining that with Nasty Plot whenever you use it, it's gonna boost your special attack by two stages. And then the main move is gonna be make it rain which you can just launch at Sylveon and do some ridiculous damage. So that is the Goldingo. I feel like it's not really too much I need to explain with this one. 
again it because of its steel type and it is going to resist those fairy type attacks and then the steel terror type and just gives you that additional boost to your offensive presence when you do decide to terrestrialize now the next option against sylvian in particular is going to be gengar we're going for the terror typing of poison on this one it is a base poison and ghost type we've given the shell bell item as a way to get some recovery through the battle and the move options we've got taunt again to shut down the yawn potential calm mind that we're going to see from the sylvian nasty plot to boost up your special attack and acid spray as well which works through the shield and reduces the special defense on the target pokemon sludge bomb going to be big damaging attack here from the gengar again we have went for an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack and the rest just dumped in defense curse Bolly is the ability but we don't really have too many more options on there with a modest nature so that is the gengar i think these two if you're wanting just one pokemon to take in against the sylvian both of these can do a really nice job and will resist all of the attacks regardless of the terror typing that the sylvian can throw out at you now looking at some options for specifically just taking pokemon in against garchomp we're going to start off with rotom and i really love this build for rotom we've actually got the fairy terror typing on it because with levitate and the fairy terror typing once you terrestrialize you've got complete immunity against anything that garchomp's going to throw against you except obviously the iron head which could be a little bit of a problem if it does carry that and the slash but otherwise you're going to be in a good spot shell bell again going to be the item choice on this rotom to give us a form of recovery and then the move set going to be reflect give us a little bit of stability against the garchomp's physical type attacks that's going to throw out against us nasty plot terror blast which takes advantage of our terror typing once we do terrestrialize and then hydro pump as well which gives us a nice way to hit in particular the ground terror type garchomp if it does go for that ground type terror typing rather than any other one and obviously if it does go for a dragon terror typing if you're going up against that one and the terror blast is going to be a nice option against that again we've got a modest nature with 252 hp and 252 special attack the rest just put in defense and again the rotom is just a nice option i feel to take in if you want to play with something different and give you a different option against these spotlight terror raid pokemon the next option one of my favorites i think going in against garchomp in particular it doesn't really resist any of its main attacks except those ground type attacks with its grass typing is a bomber snow grass and ice with the terror typing of grass we've got the shell bell item again gives us a form of recovery with an adamant nature and 252 hp and 252 attack evs the rest put in special defense or defense whichever one you prefer snow warning is the ability here because it does throw up the hail on the or the snow onto the field and then you can use a combination of that and Aurora Veil, which gives you technically a light screen and a reflect in the same turn when you use it when the hail is active. Now we've got a move set of Swords Dance, Ice Spinner and Seed Bomb. The idea of this set is turn one, get your Aurora Veil up and then get three Swords Dances up, max out your attack and then throw out either Ice Spinners or Seed Bombs onto the opposing target. If Garchomp does go for a pure Dragon type, then you can use Ice Spinner. If it goes for the Ground type, you can use a combination of both but if you terrestrialize you're probably wanting to use seed bomb as your main type of attack and with the shell bell item you're gonna have a nice line of recovery there while you're able to take those ground type attacks pretty comfortably and you shouldn't really be too threatened from the dragon type attacks and of course because you are terrestrializing if it does have iron head the grass type not going to be hit for super effective damage from that attack so the next pokemon i can't go into this guide without mentioning them i think are just good options in general are azumarill and both different typings you've got terror type fairy here if it goes for a dragon terror type and you go after it or a dark terror type or fighting terror type garchomp and then you've got the water terror type azumarill here if it does go for something like that pure ground type which gives you nice options against all types of Garchomp and the setup with Azumarill is pretty much the same on both ends of the spectrum here you're going to be going for that huge power with the ability there EV spread of 252 HP 252 attack and then the rest put in defense and then a move set of play rough belly drum misty terrain which is really nice actually to protect partnering Pokemon because it reduces the damage of dragon type attacks by 50% uh, when it's on the field and then aqua jet is an option there and you could replace that with another option if you wanted sometimes i just like because you've got the shell bell item here aqua jet is a nice option with that priority if you're in a real sticky situation where you need some health back quickly you've not got any cheers left or some situation like that 
where you know you can launch the aqua jet off and just get a, a good chunk of hp back especially after you have belly drummed it is a nice option with the azumarill and again you don't really need to worry too much about these terror raids because they are only five star maximum they're not going to be crazy hard to beat like the six and seven star raids although they are very strong pokemon that we're going up against in this spotlight event and with the water terror type azumarill again going to be the, pretty much the same build with an adamant nature 252 hp 252 attack huge power again belly drum aqua jet play rough and liquidation you can change the moves up the basics of this are you're going to really be looking at our belly drum and then liquidation on the water terror type one and then belly drum and play rough on the fairy terror type one and the last pokemon to mention in today's video this guide is going to be just an all-rounder that you can take into these raids and probably do pretty all right with and it's a build that probably most of you have already and that is going to be slow bro it's not going to be hitting any of these pokemon for super effective damage but if you get any random terror types that can be a little bit tricky to go up against slow bro is going to be a pokemon that you're going to be able to take into these raids set up with and just nuke these pokemon with pretty easily so water and psychic typing we've got the terror typing of psychic there item of choices leftovers we've got an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack own tempo is the ability doesn't really matter too much in here slack off is the first move to give you a line of recovery iron defense nasty plot and then stored power the basics are with this slow bro are you going to go for three iron defense three nasty plot and then start throwing out those stored powers obviously if you are going up against the sylvian you have to watch out for those yawns that can be a little bit problematic and of course as well if it does have calm mind which i really can't see it having because it is just a five star terror raid it's not a six or a seven star where the setup options are really more likely on those pokemon rather than just the five star then that can be an issue um, but you've got plenty of other options that we've covered in today's video that you can kind of go back to and use if Slowbro doesn't seem like the most effective way to get through these Terror Raid events. So I hope you found today's video useful. I hope you are looking forward to this event. I think it's a really nice Spotlight Terror Raid event because two Pokemon that are pretty rare really strong as well and it's a little bit different from what we've had in the past spotlight terror Raid events where you're going to be able to go in and get these pokemon with specific terror types which again like i've said in previous videos just saves on time for going after and farming terror shards which can be a little bit time consuming to say the least so i would love to hear your opinions on what the best builds will be going into this event and what pokemon are you preparing for this particular event that is kicking off very soon this coming weekend thank you so much for tuning in if you found today's video useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of the terror raid news and events and these sort of videos when they do drop and all of our other pokemon scarlet and violet content on the channel and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye